Hello everyone, today video is very simple. I'm going to show you how to convert the color image into a black and white image. I'm going to be focused on the way I do it. I want to show you why I think the method I use is superior uh, to other methods. So we are not going to use any adjustment layers like black and white, any saturation adjustment layers, but I'm going to work with camera or filter. And to work non-destructively, we have to duplicate this uh, background layer. So to do it, press Command or Control and J together, and then you will be able to duplicate this. I'm going to rename this into B and W effect or just B and W. And also the rule for non-destructive working is actually converting this to the smart object. So I'm going to hit right and convert this to the smart object. And once it's done, I be ready to go to filter and camera filter. So it's done now. I'm going to hit filter and camera raw filter after that. So starting from the top, we want to change the treatment from color to black and white. And I believe for some people, after this step, the job would be done. And this is not wrong. I'm not saying this is right now, but for some people when they convert this and they think I like the effect I have now, um, that would be it. But uh, often, uh, not on this image, but with other works, we are still lacking contrast and many other things. So uh, there would be more things to do. Then going to the profile, I would like you to pay attention to it because in camera and Lightroom, we have B and W pr profiles. So it's good to have a look into that, especially if your image is still flat, if it's still lacking contrast, you might find some profile that you feel will improve your image. So it's good to have a look through it. We're not going to work with that now, but I just want to let you know that something like this exists. So then uh, the first really advantage of working this way is the fact that we can work with the lights easily here on contrast highlights and shadows. So if we want to bring up some shadows, we can simply bring it up. If you want to take down some highlights, we can also do it. And if you want to work with uh, exposure and contrast, we can do it here as well. So these all things we have in one place. Uh, when it comes to texture clarity, of course, the same rule as with every other image. And the next step uh, that is really powerful here is moving to the uh, panel number four, which now with the treatment of black and white will be called black and white mix. And this panel allows you to manipulate uh, with each color. So for example, we had the red suit. Uh, we want to increase the light. We can do it. We want to decrease the light. We can also do it. Also be careful because often we will have the red lips or some red pixels on the skin tone. So here we have to be careful. As you can see, when I darken the, the suit, uh, the leaves got darker as well. If I brighten this, the leaves will get brighter. Uh, so I wouldn't really go with some crazy effects here. Uh, I would be careful uh, whenever I work with this. Uh, I wouldn't go too far uh, either way. Uh, the next thing, uh, orange with orange, I would advise to be careful because uh, we can work with the skin, but we can also once again easily destroy this. When it comes to the yellows and greens, often uh, we can see some greenery in the background. If we want to bring this up, that's uh, another way we can do it. And considering this, I would probably darken the suit a little bit to make it uh, more contrasty compared to the background. And all other colors that could exist on your image, uh, you can actually use this uh, for your own benefits. I'm going to make this a little bit different. I'm going to increase a little bit more of the contrast and basically uh, that would be it. So this is the reason why I prefer uh, to use uh, this method. It's just giving me more opportunities to work with the lights on a black and white image. I don't really like to do it in the adjustment layers and like 
I like to do it this way, but often I do even less uh, adjustments at the very end. So sometimes I might just increase the contrast, but the fact that I can change it anytime um, gives me the peace of mind. So once we've done it, and if we don't like the effect, by the fact that we work with uh, smart filters, we can just double hit on this. We can uh, change the adjustments once again, if we don't like what we have, for example, this way, and then hit OK again. And as you can see, we change the effect. So this is a really powerful and comfortable way of working. At the very end, I just want to let you know that I'm offering a free retouching course, uh, retouching essentials, so you can learn the cleaning up, um, touch and burn, retouching, and a few other things. The link is in the description. And for now, thank you for watching, and I'm gonna see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.